Okay, just make yourself comfortable now. If you want to close your eyes, that's a good idea. But if you don't, that's fine too. Now, just listen quietly to the sound of my voice. And of course, you'll be aware of all those other sounds too. Sounds from inside the building and sounds from outside. But these won't disturb you. In fact, they are going to help you to relax. Because the only sound you need to think about is the sound of my voice. And while you're listening to the sound of my voice, just simply allow your body to be at ease as you allow yourself to relax even more now. I wonder if you can sense the beating of your own heart, sensing that beat and just seeing whether you can use the power of your mind to slow that heartbeat down, just a touch, just seeing whether you can use the power of your mind to slow that heartbeat down, just a little. You can then feel your whole body slowing down, becoming lazier and lazier, nobody wanting anything, nobody expecting anything. So you can allow your whole body to continue to relax and become steadier and easier until it's just taking over like a well-maintained machine. Just taking over smoothly, easily, quietly, comfortably, so that you can become gradually more aware of your whole self. Aware of your hands and arms, just sensing how they are now. Aware of your legs and feet too, Again, just sensing how relaxed they might be, and wondering if it's possible to relax them even more. To be so in touch with yourself that you can actually get your whole body, perhaps, to relax even more. Yet remaining totally alert, and noticing now how even your face muscles can begin to really relax. Relaxing and letting go of the tensions that were there, almost but not quite completely unnoticed. Just being vaguely aware of the skin and the muscles of your face, settling, smoothing out, a good feeling. Wondering just how long all that tension had been there, where it all came from in the first place, and then realizing that you simply couldn't care less. Because you can feel it draining away from you now, and that feels good. And as you continue to sense the beating of your heart and the absolute steadiness of your body's rhythm, you wonder at the fact that you are so absolutely relaxed and comfortable that you simply can't be bothered to even try moving a single muscle. Even though you know you easily could if you wanted to, I know that you easily could if you wanted to, but you simply can't be bothered to even try. Allowing yourself to just be relaxed and relaxing even more now, as lazy and relaxed as anyone could ever wish to be. And I wonder if you can now manage to relax even more, even though you are already as relaxed as it is possible for most people to ever be. Just finding those last tiny traces of tension in your body and simply letting go, with each easy, gentle breath you breathe. I'm going to count down from five, and with each layer, you find yourself falling deeper and more relaxed. Five, you are just so relaxed and feel yourself going even deeper. Four, you feel yourself slipping a little bit more. Three, oh, such a relaxed state, such an enjoyable state. Two, just continue listening as your mind slips into a trance. 1. Empty of everything as everything has faded away, allowing every muscle, every fiber, every cell of your entire body to be as beautifully relaxed as anyone could ever wish to be. And now that your mind is calm and clear, just gradually relax as everything unimportant fades away for a short while. We're just going to be watching a little play a play about you and your mind and your body. Relax and enjoy as these words just slip slowly, deeply down under your skin, making it so much easier to feel the sensations they talk about in place of what you'd usually feel, to see the images they speak of in place of what you'd usually see, and somewhere deep in the back of your mind, you know what these words speak of even before they are spoken. Words of intelligence, introversion, organization, and order filling your mind. 
thoughts of curiosity, perfectionism, leadership to accompany them, desires of knowledge, achievement, and friendship becoming clear to you, and all of these coming together to form who you are. Just let yourself relax into them as you feel the changes slowly, surely wash over you. Just a bit in front of your ears, on the center of your forehead, you feel a small bump forming. You are a magical being. Your magic comes from within, and it comes out through your horn. This bump is the beginning of your new horn, and as it begins to grow, you start to remember a story, a tale of how you started on your path to becoming so magical. The first time you ever saw Princess Celestia raise the sun during the summer sun celebration, you were left in awe by the display of her astounding magic. It was then that you decided to devote your life to studying the magical arts, to one day be a great magic user like her. You poured yourself into learning everything you could about magic, concentration on and knowledge of a variety of spells. It was only a matter of time before your parents enrolled you in Princess Celestia's School for Gifted Unicorns. You recall the fateful day of your entrance exam. You can hear the scribbling of the examiner's pencils, the clock ticking, you feel so nervous, and the rest of your life rides on this very test, but you feel as if you will not pass. You try and fail, it leaves you dejected, but then you are suddenly startled. You feel something welling up in you, igniting the untapped magic within you. The fierce heat of your horn spreads throughout your entire body and outwards until it fills the entire room. The examiners are taken by surprise as they are levitated by a violet cloud. Your eyes begin to glow a brilliant white, touching you in a very special way. You are in your element. Control is what you need. You are truly magical. You are overcome with joy at the realization that you have passed. This feeling escalates into elation as the princess herself takes you in as her personal protege. All of your dreams are coming true. You remember that day and how magical you truly are. Your horn grows slowly and steadily from your head, a beautiful, powerful unicorn horn. You feel the formation of the tip, and as it emerges, it erupts in a small shower of sparks. The horn fills you with excitement as it continues to grow, lengthen and spiral curiously. You feel a sense of pride and power as the wonderful horn is fully formed on the center of your forehead, just as you've always visualized, just as you've always wanted, just as you've always remembered. You can feel a tingling from your new horn, feel its power surge deep in your mind, coming to you so effortlessly. It is time to tap into your deep and powerful magic once more. Your horn awakens in a flash of lavender and magenta light. You are ecstatic. This is your chance to learn a new spell. You are going to learn a spell about body modification. You concentrate hard, wanting your attempt to be a success at the very first try. You know from your studies that optimistic thoughts and a positive outlook have a great impact on the effectiveness of magic, so you concentrate on what makes you happy, knowledge, achievement, and, most of all, friendship. You feel relaxed and focused, ready to cast the spell. You shift your focus to your ears. Your horn glows more brightly and your ears begin to slowly melt into a blazing bright purple fog. Your head is hot with the increased glow of your magic. So intimate in your focus you hardly notice any sounds that you used to hear. They fade away and you are left in silent concentration for a short while. You focus on the next step, formation. Thinking to yourself, you visualize exactly how you want your new ears to be formed, pointed, perky, and coated in soft, velvety plush fur. You imagine them slowly emerging out from the top of your head. As you focus on forming your new ears, a dim glowing light envelopes your head, 
as your ears form and fully emerge just as you imagined them. Your new ears are complete. They twitch ever so slightly, picking up crisper, clearer sounds than your old ears. They are covered in a soft, plush, violet fur that warms and comforts you as they move to catch the slightest noise around them. When you are happy or interested in something, such as reading a good book or being around your friends, your ears will be perky and upright. When you are sad, when you struggle with failure or see a friend in trouble, they will lay to the side. Your magic continues to spread throughout your head. You begin to form additional features to accompany this new set of ears. You feel a gentle yet firm pulling sensation in your mouth as your jaw pulls outward, forming your new muzzle, curved and soft. Your face extends out along with your muzzle, naturally forming your lovely round head. You can feel your eyes changing with your head, extending out so gently, your iris changing color to a lovely deep lavender tint. Your eyelashes grow out steadily, lengthening into lovely feminine lashes, full and tender. You relish in the feeling of a full head, complete with a soft muzzle, full and deep eyes, and perky, sensitive ears. A lovely head to house the mind of a smart pony. The spell is working just as you anticipated. You feel a sense of accomplishment for doing such a good job on your first try. Now it is time to form the rest of your body. The purple aura of your magic begins to envelope your arms and legs. Feel as your fingers and toes begin to grow numb, a nice, warm, tingling feeling, starting at the tip of your fingers and toes and then slowly spreading downward, deeply penetrating into your being. As the numbness continues to spread, your skin begins to take on a more elastic form, stretching out, your fingers beginning to melt into one, forming a web-like connection of skin, muscle, and nerve between them. As they continue to join together, their tips become shinier and harder like fingernails. A sturdy yet smooth covering as they become your new hooves. They merge together, four, then three, then two, until all that remains are your beautiful hooves. You feel the bones in your legs begin to twist and bend. Your joints push backwards painlessly, forming the hind legs of a pony. So hard to stand on two legs anymore. You don't even want to bother trying. You just allow the changes to progress relentlessly. These changes are natural to who you truly are. It's so easy just to give in and let your body and mind get what they desire, as your arms, too, undergo a similar, unstoppable action. They begin to reform, developing and changing like your old legs have done, and become your new forelegs. They smooth out painlessly, settling so that you can comfortably stand on four legs. Feel as the magical change passes over your rear, slowly causing it to expand, becoming softer, fuller, rounder. It does feel good deep in your mind for your body to experience these things. They are strange, but so familiar that you embrace them. You remember that your body has always been this way. Another surge of energy shoots to the base of your spine. You feel a nub at the base of your spine that slowly extends out until it's the length of one foot. The nub grows in a curved shape ever so naturally and smoothly. Once the nub is formed, silken hairs burst forth from it like a flower in first bloom. You feel a shiver down your entire spine as purple and lavender hair spills out of the nub, taking the shape of your new tail. A pink highlight extends from the base to the tip of your newly formed tail, making you happy. You feel the heaviness of your new tail. You feel more sturdy and balanced, safe and secure. You wouldn't know how to keep your balance without it. 
The heaviness is strange to you, but like the other changes, you welcome it. Although it takes a little bit of effort to hold your tail up at first, it quickly becomes second nature. You swish it back and forth, getting used to the new sensations. An expressive ponytail to complement your new pony backside. You can't help but wonder what will come next. The excitement of successfully completing the spell on your first try overwhelms you. You happily press on, optimistic in your talent. The change surges within your body, passing through your throat as your voice becomes a more sociable, friendly, and bright feminine voice. It is the voice of some pony who is calm and collected when performing magic, and who is happy and content to be around her friends. It is your voice. You feel as the hair on your head spills outward, growing longer, softer down the back of your neck, and flowing over your new pony shoulders. A lovely, flowing purple mane with a pink highlight, just like your beautiful tail. A lovely matching mane for you to wear with pride. A tickling sensation spreads over every facet of your skin as you feel the emergence of soft, short fur. Just like the plush fur of your adorable pony ears, it spreads over your head, coating your cute muzzle, your long pony neck, your back and chest, belly and rear, and your four pony legs. A flash of light erupts from your flank as a mark appears on its surface. Emblazoned on your flank is the symbol of your magical power, your cutie mark. One bright magenta star laying over a white one, with five smaller white stars surrounding it. It reminds you of that fateful day when you realized just how magical you truly are. Finally, you are whole. Your pony head, complete with your ears, horn, muzzle, eyes, and mane. Your four legs with their solid, sturdy hooves, and your rear emblazoned with your stellar cutie mark and long, flowing tail. A lovely violet unicorn. Already your mind has such thoughts filling it, relaxing it. You feel a bit skeptical, but enthusiastic, curious of your new body, but enjoying it nonetheless. Even as you speak, the voice is a sociable feminine one, showing no hints of who you used to be. All that remains is who you are now. You are a beautiful, smart, friendly unicorn, and you can feel your mind filling with thoughts and feelings, those that make you who you are. Feelings of power, of sharpness and brilliance. You realize how magical you really are. Second to none, overly ambitious, you tend to let small things get the best of you, especially because you pay great attention to detail, sometimes maybe a little too much. Even total strangers know of your works. You like to feel validated, to always be the best, even if it drives you to the brink of insanity. You take pride in getting the grade. The praise of your mentors, nothing else matters except for the companionship of your friends, whom you find fascinating and learn so much from. Your knowledge is vast. The love between you and your friends is all but unbreakable. You always want to learn something new. Disappointing your mentors leaves you devastated. There's a passion, an absolute ecstasy, that fills your heart to truly be like and be a pony. Smart and introverted, quick and calculating, it feels like something completely and totally natural to you, as simple as breathing in and out. Studious, skeptical, and organized, these are strange sensations, but you know that they have always been in your heart. You feel an intense happiness, an understanding that somewhere in your mind you do indeed enjoy these changes. Something about them calms your nerves, soothes your senses, to where it feels so easy and right to just let them come onward. You are filled with a feeling of ecstasy as you realize that you have completed the transformation. 
It makes you smile with joy and pride, knowing that you have mastered a new spell. You can check one more item off of your long list of things to learn. A great success, one that is worth writing to the princess about. You can feel your new body, see your new body. Imagine all the sensations as you walk around on your hooves, the four-legged gait and swishing tail and pointed ears, the beautiful, powerful horn and studious, friendly, organized feelings, the curved muzzle and smooth fur, all yours to enjoy and play in. And you know that you can go back to this state anytime you choose. All you have to do is speak one little phrase. I am a smart pony. Whenever you say, I am a smart pony, you will feel every change return to the surface, changing you back to the smart little pony from the person you were instantly. For the changes you've made are always here. They are now a part of you, as much a part of you as your heart and mind. And there may be times when you can't be the little pony, when the person you were may be required for some reason or another, and when you know that will be the case for you, then all you need is one little phrase, revert to normal. And whenever you say, revert to normal, the spell that you've cast will melt away, going dormant until the next time you can be the smart little pony you truly want to be. And every time you cast this spell by saying, I am a smart pony, it will feel even more natural to you, your desire to be the little pony becoming stronger and stronger with every visit, the desire to listen seeming more and more inescapable, more attractive with each trip into the body and mind of the smart pony. And now it is time to wake back up. Waking up on the count of five, you'll feel that with each number you'll wake up a little bit more. The sensation of your new pony body and mind just becoming that much stronger with each layer. One, waking up now. Two, more and more. Three, consciousness returning. Four, almost there. Five, refreshed and awake. And I hope you'll enjoy, little pony.